Righto, Talio there, champs, and yes, Dell have just gone and done it, yes. The best Ultra Ball, all 2 and one The Dell XPS 13 and 13 2 and one are being updated, and there are some game-changing updates with this. And I'll show you some things to actually look out for if you're going to buy one of these. And there is one thing that I thought that would go into these laptops that didn't actually make it, and I'll tell you why I think that is in a sec. So, in October, you will be able to get the new XPS 13, 2 in 1, or the normal version. And just for you Aussies here, just have a look at that. Pretty much going to be the same in the US as well, although the price will be different there. So, with this laptop, we're going into the new generation. We've got the new 11th gen intel cpus now there are some big changes with this because they have xe graphics which are nearly twice as fast as the you know isolate graphics so a big upgrade in the graphics this is also going to be the first evo certified laptop and what that means is it's certified by intel to wake up resume it meets all these criteria i actually made a video on 11th gen cpus if you want to check that out has to have Thunderbolt 4, which this does have as well. Thunderbolt 4, baby, it's here. But it just means it's going to get great performance, all-day battery life, Thunderbolt 4, all the criteria is met to be certified as EVO. Now, with EVO comes a price tag because anything certified EVO is certified premium and it's the best you can get. So I'll just get into the specs in a sec. But first, let's just go through the product details. Yes, 11th gen CPUs, XE graphics, advanced thermal design. Yes, this thing has a vapor chamber. So awesome cooling in an Ultrabook 16 by 10 display, wide color gamut display, one of the best displays you're going to get in the Ultrabook. And this applies for the normal XPS 13 and the 2-in-1, pretty much the same. And that display is Dolby Vision HDR certified, eye safe as well, so it can block out those blue lights. It's got one of the best webcams on a laptop. So if you're working from home and that, this is one of the better webcams, the Gorilla Glass 6. So that's awesome. Nice keyboard, Magli keyboard, second generation, I believe it is. You've got the colors of platinum, silver, black carbon fiber, palm rest, or the frost white version, the white version, which is the one you need to get. That's the sexy one. And that's the white waving glass palm rest. There are a lot of good ultra books around, but none of them look like this, okay? All display, minimal bezel. It just is the best looking ultra book around. It does support the old premium active pen. If you want to see what a reviewer's guide looks like, this is it. Uh, yes. Premium aluminium CNC machine or aluminum, you know, Wi-Fi 6 baby, of course. Um, yeah, HDR display, advanced thermals. Look at that. Yes, vapor chamber baby. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? It's a nice package. It's a beautiful thing, and I can't wait to get it in. So let's go through the specs, and this is the two-in-one specs, but pretty much the same internals as the XPS 13. There's the key highlights there, as you can see. But let's have a look. Let's get in there, have a look. Some surprises for me here. Now, with the processors, 11th generation CPUs, have a look at the i7 and the i5. See how it has the G7 next to it. That's what you have to get, okay? If you want the good graphics, and these have the XE graphics, the latest graphics, which are pretty good, you can actually play AAA games at 1080p, you know, low settings. It's not discrete GPU power, but for, you know, integrated graphics, it's quite amazing what you can do with these. But you need to get the G7 version. So that i3 with the G4, that's not going to have the good graphics. You want the G7. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me, XPS 15, when are the 11th generation going to come out? Probably next year say March, April, May, June, around there sort of time because these are different. These are 15 watt parts, they're quad cores, they're not the same as the 8 core CPUs we get in laptops which are 45 watts. Now look how fast the RAM is here. Look how fast. 4,267 LP DDR4X. Wow, that is super fast. Now, here's one thing that surprised me. With 11th gen CPUs, you can have PCI Express 4, which gives you much faster speeds for SSDs. If you get the Samsung 980, is it? You can get 6,000 megabytes read and write. Well, even though 11th gen supports it, this says here PCI Express 3. And I think that's good that they pointed that out because if you get one of those, you know, PCI Express 4 SSDs, SSDs, it's not going to work full speed in here. It'll probably work, but it won't work at full speed. So you might be disappointed. Why isn't it PCI Express 4? I think it's because of power, and I think it's because of heat. If you know the Ryzen systems that are PCI Express 4, they actually had to put fans on the motherboard because PCI Express uses more power, and it's just hotter. So PCI 4 is a lot hotter than PCI Express 3. The SSDs are that fast anyway. They're like 3,000 read and write. Like, that's fast enough. Come on. 
Do you really need 6,000? But hopefully that will get implemented down the road. Of course, those displays I'm talking about, you can get full HD plus 16 by 10, 4K Ultra HD plus cracking displays on these things. And yes, you can see their XE graphics, okay? So that's the one you want. Remember, get the G7. One other new feature here is Thunderbolt 4 and two of them. Wolf, that's what we want, baby. Thunderbolt 4, so you get better security, you're able to wake from your external devices. There's no more bandwidth. It's not any faster or anything like that, but it's built into the CPU. So you're going to have less issues than laptops with, you know, that have a separate discrete Thunderbolt 3 controller. Now we have a Wi-Fi 6 here. It doesn't say if it's Qualcomm, but by that name there, it looks like the Intel there, 2x2. Two two. So a good Wi-Fi 6 chip here. So these things are super sexy. They look good. Pretty much as good as it gets in Ultrabooks. I know people are going to ask in the comments what about amd well the amd won't have as good a graphics as this but amd do have up to eight cores but this has you know intel xe graphics so the intel hd on this and as you can see here it says intel uhd graphics that will be on the i3 version don't get that make sure you get the g7 which has the iris xe graphics that's going to be much faster for encoding stuff and you know premiere pro and stuff like that because of that intel xe graphics quick sync and also you can put a thunderbolt 3 on this right you can whack a 3080 on it so that's why I would still get these over an AMD system. Keeping you up to date there in the loop. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Stay tuned for my full review and catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.